it is time to go on to my next meal, which is supposed to be a meat pie. Um, I was supposed to get this meat pie from a servo. My only options were like a hot dog or like a taquito. So neither of those were right. But I did eventually find something that resembles a meat pie. And I know this isn't gonna be right. And I know this is not gonna be what was expected. But the closest version I could find is um Hi, I'm Zeta from Oz. What's up guys? I'm Jeff from the US. And we are gonna be swapping diets for 24 hours. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. We've planned a day of meals for each other and at the end of each meal, we're gonna be giving it a thumbs up if it was bloody great or a thumbs down if it was a dog's breakfast. For Jeff's Aussie menu, we're gonna start the day off with Smash Dabo, the reason millennials in Australia can't buy houses. For lunch, we're gonna go on to the classic meat pie and chalky milk. We're gonna finish the day off with a chicken parmi, which I actually hate, but people love. And if you get hungry, you can have berry bread. For Zita's American menu, she is going to be having the classic American cereal, cinnamon toast crunch for breakfast. For lunch, she's gonna have a PB&J sandwich. For dinner, she's gonna have some good old-fashioned chicken and waffles. And if you get hungry through the day, uh, if that wasn't enough fatty food for you, then I'm giving you a little Twinkie to snack on. So Jeff, just something you should know about me before we start this little food swap is that I am notorious for having bad food opinions. Yeah. So, oh, so a little, see how that goes. So a little extra challenge. Well, something you should know about me is I'm known for being. Here we go. I'm known for being contradictory, and I also didn't know how to drink one of the UK's favorite beverages um, uh, in a clip that has then gone viral and continues to haunt me in my dreams. Oh my god, it's so thick. So, you're also in for a treat. It is first thing in the morning and it is time to make some breakfast. Normally for breakfast, I'll have like avalon toast or eggs or muesli. My breakfast meal item is an avocado toast on sourdough bread. I'm fairly confident that I am going to both smash this out of the park, making it wise, pun kind of intended, sorry that was bad, and um, that I'm gonna really enjoy it. So starting my day with Lucky Charms. My body's just gonna be like, bro, what are you doing to me? Got my bread, obviously going for two slices. Pop in the toaster. Lucky Charms. You've got rainbow marshmallows. Also the marshmallows are hard. I, I don't know the best way to ever really like do this. Take it all from the outside and just kind of like squeeze it in, which I feel like is kind of gross. And now we smash. And then I actually also like to include some um, little tomatoes in there too. I also don't drink milk, so I'm gonna do almond milk and that could either make it taste way better or way worse. Toast is ready. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter on there. Time for the main event. I think this looks pretty damn good if you ask me. Look at that. All right, finally time to eat my breakfast, which I'm very excited about. Oh, it smells like Nutri-Grain. And of course I have my coffee, not part of the menu, but a requirement for me to have at all times. It started to make the milk go colorful, which I'm not into. Let's dig in. Oh yeah, listen to that. Okay, okay. So good. So that's a good way to start the day too. I like the cereal. I don't like the charms. So unfortunately, I couldn't find Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh no. 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 So sad. Secretly an ecstatic. No, you don't. No. Um, no, 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 nothing to be ecstatic about. You're missing out. You are missing out. I did find Lucky Charms, so I had that instead. And surprisingly, very, very surprisingly, I'm giving it a thumbs up. Yeah. I actually liked it. Oh my god. Which is shocking. Smashed avocado as breakfast is obviously like such an obvious thumbs up. Like it's so. I'm a huge fan. I eat it all the time already. But like creativity on a menu, everyone already does it. So I have to deduct points for lack of original. Lack of original. Lack of original. So I'm gonna give this a medium. 
middle, middle of the ground, middle of the road. Great choice, just not that original, and we're trying to like swap full diets. First you had the Ribena, now you're gonna have the whole of Australia in the comments being like, smash that up with Time for lunch. We are having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It is time to go on to my next meal, which is supposed to be a meat pie. Um, I was supposed to get this meat pie from a servo, which is like a gas station, I guess, but i um, never really heard that before. The closest thing we really have to that in the US, or at least around here, is like a 7-Eleven. My only options were like a hot dog or like a taquito, so neither of those were right. But I did eventually find something that resembles a meat pie. And I know this isn't gonna be right, and I know this is not gonna be what was expected, but the closest version I could find is um, this cornbread pie. So, um, yeah, I don't think it looks good at all. Here in Australia, we don't really have jelly. We have jam. Now, <laughs> I am absolutely gonna just get slammed in the comments. Come for me, Americans. But because we don't have jelly, I went to my shop, local shops, and bought some jam. Did I buy strawberry? No, I bought wild blueberry. Am I sorry about it? No, I'm not. So I took it out of the box and uh, this. <laughs> this is what we have, so um, yeah. I can't wait to feel so great after eating this. In the movies, whenever they make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, I always see them do like peanut butter on one side and jelly on the other. So that's what I'm gonna do because movies are real life and everything is fact in movies. Ooh la la, look at that frozen meat and veg. Into the microwave we go. So it is time to eat this attempt at a meat pie. Huh. It's very flavorful. I don't have a problem with that at all. Like to be honest, it's not, it's really not horrible. It's not something I would really choose again. But now what I don't understand is why you would wash this down with chocolate milk. But I agreed to a challenge. I mean, chocolate milk is chocolate milk. Like. Ding, 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 the school bell's gone. It's lunchtime. Mm -hmm. You open your lunchbox, and for my American lunch, I had a PB and J. I give it a thumbs up. It was delicious. I liked <laughs> oh it. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Yeah. Oh my god. I can't believe it either. Oh my god, you don't have bad. All these Australians who say you have bad food opinions, they're wrong. You have good food opinions. You're two for two on America. I know. I know. And also I'm being validated by the guy who drank Ray Venus straight. And you did it with fucking blueberry jam as opposed to like grape jelly, but you know what? Whatever gets you to give me a thumbs up, I'll take it. The meat pie I had and the chocolate milk I had were not a combination my stomach ever wants me to have again. It for me was unfortunately Worse than a dog's breakfast. Oh my god! I can't. I can't. You're taking my title away from me. Like, I thought I was bad, but. Promise you it's gonna get worse. How could it get worse? <laughs> so, it is my favorite time of day snack time. Well, normally I would munch on like some chips or some cookies or something. But today, because I'm eating like an Aussie, I have to eat fairy bread. My first concern about the Twinkie, how long has it been in the plastic wrapping? Also, what is it supposed to be? Because it kind of looks like a hot dog bun with cream in it. It only consists of three ingredients. Some bread, cut it, some butter, and rainbow circular sprinkles. I'm gonna do a stiff test. Okay, 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 okay. I feel like that's that's a good amount. It's heaps of butter. Hey, how is that? Heaps. Um, the recipe I read said, dump the sprinkles into a bowl or on a plate and then dip the bread in it. It's ridiculous. So sprinkles on the plate, bread, and then done. Oh, I'm sorry, but what? I guess I need to get all the sprinkles all over the place. 
<laughs> oh my god, yuck. It smells like off milk. Is that normal? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, I don't know if I can do it. No, I can, I can, I can, I can. I mean... Like, it just tastes like a lot of butter. Oh, guys. Oh, I'm glad you do this. <laughs> I think that's the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. For my snack for the afternoon on my American menu, I had a Twinkie. I don't know, dear Americans, why you decided to make this horrendous food, but I can't find one nice thing to say about it. I give it double thumbs down, and if I had more thumbs, I would give it more. Sorry. Well, I didn't get to try fairy bread as a child. I'm sure if my, if at a birthday party there was like bread with sprinkles on it, I would have fucking eaten that shit up. Unfortunately, Australia, um, fairy bread is also getting a thumbs down from me. But I really want you to know that I believe in your nostalgia, nostal and nostalgic love for it, and that it's okay to be different. <laughs> Not if you don't like fairy bread. It is finally dinner time, and I couldn't be more excited because my last two meals were complete flops. Last on the list today is dinner. Chicken and waffles. Now I love chicken and waffles independently, but together, I can't think of anything worse. For dinner, I'm having a chicken parma or a chicken parmi. In order to make this, I have purchased, get ready, some chicken cutlets um, and I'm gonna top it with some Tomato and basil pasta sauce. And then melt on some mozzarella cheese. Um, it's called a chicken parmesan. Don't know where the parmesan cheese is. Don't know why that's not on it, but it's not on the menus I read, so it's not getting it. So let's cook. Tonight I'll be eating fried chicken. Um, again, Australia, I know this isn't exactly what it's supposed to be, but give me some credit for trying my best. And it goes for about 10-ish minutes. So we have oh, the little baby waffles. Oh, maybe let's put that bit on there. All right, yeah, let's like take off the chicken. That's a good idea. Didn't fully think this through, to be honest. Shock. What could go wrong, right? So there's a giant ball of mozzarella. I'm just gonna put one chunk in the middle to kind of like make it cheesy. Okay, there's my concoction. She's going back in. Now it's maple syrup time. I mean, again, definitely not what it's supposed to be, but like works and is gonna be fine. Okay, time to eat the chicken and waffles. We've got, got it right here. Oh, my stomach is like, and I haven't even taken a bite. It is finally time to eat my attempt at a chicken parma. Um, again, I think this looks bomb. I am really excited to eat it. What could go wrong? Cheese is all melty. It's steaming because it's straight out of the oven. For the record to show, she's got it all in one bite. Delicious. I actually don't hate the chicken and the maple syrup together. I think that's quite good. Perfection. Like, why would anyone not eat this? But then you add the waffle and the chicken. Oh, and it's just so sweet. Um, okay, so for my final meal of the day, dinner, some would call it. Um, I had chicken and waffles with maple syrup. I like chicken and maple syrup. The chicken and the maple syrup yeah. on the waffles? Absolutely not. Too much, it's too what? sweet, I don't like it. Why are you gonna ruin Ugh. fried chicken? Sadly, fried chicken and waffles gets a thumbs down. Oh, wow, I'm shocked. So my dinner was a chicken parma. Parmi, parma, parma. Parmi, but it's controversial. Parmi. So I made my own kind of, and I know that's not fully right. But I'm giving it a, like, two thumbs up, dude. 
I'm giving it, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, well, I think we can both agree that today was an experience. It was, but I might, I think I'm gonna surprise you here. I'm ready. If I had to choose menus, I would definitely get rid of the fairy bread, but with a real meat pie, I might go Australian. We won, we won, you heard it here first. Australian food is better. So I also agree that Australian, the Australian menu is better, and I couldn't be happier.